Our top story tonight, back on Monday, the Boys Police Department sent us a press release claiming the town's council had unanimously agreed to defund the department down to just one officer, that being the town's chief, Ronald Gudo. News Channel 5 has made multiple attempts this week to receive more information from the town officials, but tonight a town meeting was held that shed more light on where budget cuts will be made and how much it will impact the BPD. Colin Bedros has more. Four days after the Boyce Police Department claimed the department would be defunded completely, BPD will not be defunded, but will experience budget cuts as the town of Boyce looks for ways to cut down its spending. We have recently had to scale back on our hours that all our employees are allowed to work due to our financial state. At the town's open meeting held on Thursday, Mayor Kelvin McCoy clarified and addressed the financial issues from the last five years. We just don't have the tax revenue base to provide the current rate of service that we were providing as a small community. According to an audit made by Rosier, McKay, and Willis, BPD lost just under half a million dollars since 2018. Boyce Police Chief Ronald Gudo did not agree with the audit's numbers and wants the state to look at what's really going on. It looked like this meeting was catered around the police department. These numbers that was given tonight, I have no clue where they come from. Chief Gudo was not told about the budget cuts coming, but made known his thoughts on the cuts being made. I was not invited to the table. So how can I run something if I'm not at the table? But the town has a financial plan in place, which entails having weekly public financial meetings to talk about what to do with the town's money. We're going to go over every expense in town, and we're going to figure out where we can shop it, where we can save something, and, and what we can do without, honestly. The biggest thing is we have to start living within our means, and we have to start doing it now. The audit left many in the audience with concerns over Boyce's financial issues. We don't have any money. Where's the money? I didn't know money walk. Others want to see BPD fully staffed and patrolling the streets. I think they've done a good job, and uh, I think they need to find another way to cut the budget besides getting rid of the police, because we really need them in bars. We really do. But it was Chief Gouda who had a final word on his police crew. I feel that if the audience is listening, if the Louisiana... Um, uh, state officials are listen. I'm asking you and we're begging you, please come in and take over boys and look at the finances. It's time for a different eye to look at the finances of boys to make sure we get profitable and we can uh, thrive as a city. In Boyce, Colin Vidras for News Channel 5, your local station.